All right, it is the moment we've all been waiting for. Idol Suspects is live in the studio. So before they do a quick acoustic performance for us, we're going to do a quick interview. So what do these songs mean to you? Why did you write them? Well, I wrote them mainly. Uh, it started off as kind of random songs that had no... Uh, no story to them, but then as I continued to write, uh, I developed like this odd storyline about uh, just... Three-way murder. Yeah, kind of a murder. Uh, it's a little bit... It's a little bit like... Um, our, our songs tell a story. Yeah, exactly. About a three-way <laughs> murder. It's a love triangle that ends in murder. <laughs> there. Good job, Billy. <laughs> All right. Put the words in order. <laughs> definitely an interesting topic. So when uh, writing a song, do the lyrics come first or does the music? Because I know a, a band I really like, Last Animals, they actually record the music first and then they write lyrics to go with it. We try that. Jimmy doesn't like what I write, so he, he makes his lyrics first. That's not true. I mean, it's, <laughs> it starts a lot of the time with the lyrics just because uh, <clears throat> writing melodies uh, is a lot easier when you're trying to make a hook. You need to start with with just that and then build around that. I think that it's a lot easier to flesh it out, you know, theory wise. To do it that way, it's just when, yeah. it, com when, when it comes to like writing process, we found that it's best to write in twos. We don't do too, so hot in all three of us at the same time and with our new drummer, Jordan. Um, but uh, it, it really does depend on uh, the song. We have some songs written, some music first, some songs written, some lyrics first. And, and usually what it actually is, is Jimmy kind of serenades us on piano and sings something beautiful that he wrote. That's, that's mostly how it starts, but then or sometimes... Or something horrifying. Oh no, sometimes in my email I'll get like... It's never been simple. He's never written a rock song and said, here, like, play this. He's, he's written techno songs and ska songs, and he puts them in my email inbox and says, do something with these. <laughs> so I have to rewrite all the instrumentals. Er, that now, uh, the recent one was, a, uh, was almost like a jazz piano ballad, and it's like a rock song now, and you would have never known. Wow, that's definitely <laughs> an interesting process. I love it. And just to specify for our viewers, uh, the lead singer of Idol Suspects is also named Jimmy. I have not <laughs> serenaded them with a piano. <laughs> Just for <laughs> clarification. So, have there been any bands that influenced your music? You go first, Jimmy. Let's just take this order, yeah. Okay. Go, go first, Jimmy. I mean, um... Who's that guy you're always watching? That, uh, that, that band with a really weird name recently. I, I don't... I've been watching a lot of it. I don't know. It's very theatrical. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Theatrical. I mean, yeah. I, I really got into IMX for a little while there. That was a lot of theatrical, like, British trip-hop stuff. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know why you're talking about it. Uh, as far as, uh, mine, uh, I mean, I grew up listening to, you know, Tony Hawk Pro Skater music my entire life. Who did? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my favorite band's Primus, and, uh, you know, bands like, you know, Blink-182 and, uh, Green Day and... You know, stuff along the lines of that, but I also really like, you know, band, uh, electronic bands like Shiny Toy Guns and whatnot. And we try to like grab little tiny bits and pieces from stuff and kind of work it into our, you know, music, you know. And of course, uh, me and Billy are trying to uh, resurrect the Swellers yeah. uh, because they're a huge influence. Swellers to get back together. <laughs> um, yeah, me and Nate kind of, kind of like a lot of the same stuff because we grew up on Tony Hawk because, like, who didn't? And um, a lot of punk actually. In our stuff, I try to throw um, things from... I like Bad Religion a lot. I'm kind of in a Bad Religion kick right now. So that's kind of like what the first song... I almost said the, our name for that. Um, <laughs> that's, it's kind of like what that, that one we just played um, instrumentally kind of was like. And then actually the second song, I was in a Dragon Force kick. And that's why there's the obnoxious solo in the middle that's there. <laughs> and I'm happy about it. <laughs> and so yeah, Dragon Force, Bad Religion, um, Distillers I like a lot. Paramore. Oh yeah. Oh, boy. I think you let other people tell you how annoying your guitar solos are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what it is, I'll send, I'll send like five solos that I do like one day. I'm like, just pick one, pick one, pick one. <laughs> and then if any of them go through, 
then that's I'm happy. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Take pride in your Dragon Force solos. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, the one in the in that that first song on the scene that doesn't have it because it's acoustic. That one I was going through an '80s kick, and I was like, I had so much like this big guitar sound on it with like all this echo stuff and. And uh, everyone decided that that didn't work. But oh, I kept... it started out with a phaser from hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> yeah, and a, a bunch of delay. And it sounded big in the 80s. And I was, I was, it was a joke. And I sent it to them. I was like, guys, look what I did. And it stayed. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Um, so when did uh, Idol Suspects meet? And how did you start making music? Um, it all started uh, a really long time ago. Uh, me and uh, a uh, recent member in uh, the band who's not in the band anymore, his name is Gabe, me and him were making a band, and uh, we are trying to find, you know, people to be in a band with. So we put up a, a thing on <clears throat> Craigslist, and uh, Billy um, responded to it. So then me, him, and Billy got together, and then for a really long time, me and him were writing uh, some songs. Uh, me, him, and Gabe were writing some songs, and, you know, that was going well for a while, but eventually, you know, we needed a singer, we needed a lyricist. And then uh, down the line, we end up finding uh, Jimmy. Uh, flyer, so, I think. Yeah, through a flyer. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Uh, and that was uh, pretty awesome. Uh, so then we all got together and started writing some songs. Uh, Gabe, uh, you know, uh, ended up leaving the band just from creative differences. That's all. You know, we're still we're still friends with him and everything like that. Um, but, just moved uh, in with him. Yeah, as a matter of fact, Jimmy just, just moved, moved in with, with Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> and also, actually, that when we met on Craigslist, uh, when when we met uh, me and Nate. And Gabe, um, they answered my ad. I was looking for a band. I was looking for just a singer to do a side project with, and they answered and said, "We're not a singer. We're a bassist and a guitarist." So I was like, <laughs> "Okay," and I met with them anyway, and then they became my best friends. That's awesome. The yep. power of Craigslist. All my best friends, <laughs> Craigslist. <laughs> Meet All people right. on the internet and don't let any stranger tell you different. No, <laughs> like, no. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I mean, don't. Please. Is this edited? I don't. don't Alright, take that advice with a grain of salt, but right now we're going to do the acoustic version of On the Scene, so here it is, and I hope you enjoy it. This song starts from beneath the sheet, jumpstart my heart to keep the beat, retrace my steps, relive the life I lived. 